Hi, my name is Aubrey Tanner. I'm a registered dental hygienist at Keneal Dental in Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm gonna speak with you quickly about daily oral care, which includes flossing, brushing, and rinsing. So first we're gonna talk about flossing. You should do it at least once a day. It's best to do it before you brush your teeth because the odds of you skipping flossing after you brush against skipping brushing after you floss is a lot less. So it's best to do it first. You're gonna take about a foot and a half of floss, pull it out, and you're gonna wrap it around your middle fingers. So after you wrap around your middle fingers, you have your pointer fingers and your thumbs so you can manipulate easier around your teeth. Um, you're going to put the floss between your teeth and you're gonna wrap it around your tooth and make a C shape. Instead of just putting it straight in and sawing like this, you're gonna wrap it around and make a C so that you can move the floss up and down in that motion rather than like this. And don't forget to floss behind your back teeth. That's a common missed area in, um, when people floss. Next, we're gonna talk about brushing your teeth. You need to brush at least twice a day for two minutes. It's best to think of it in quadrants. Do 30 seconds per quadrant. That equals the two minutes. You're gonna take your toothbrush, place it at a 45 degree angle toward your teeth and do very small brushing strokes. A 45 degree angle helps get the bristles right underneath the gums. Uh, most bacteria likes to, and plaque, like to start right here at your gum line. So you wanna make sure that you get that area. So just little, little strokes. Whenever you get to these lower front teeth, you can turn your toothbrush this way to make it just a little bit easier. And don't forget the biting surfaces of your teeth. Those are very important. You wanna make sure you get in all those little nooks and crannies. We also recommend using a tongue cleaner. Some people use their toothbrush, which is okay, but it would be best to use a different instrument for cleaning your tongue. If you've ever stuck your tongue out and looked in the mirror, you'll see you have, a lot of people have a white film. It's full of bacterium, things that you don't want in your mouth anymore. It also helps keep your breath fresh. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is using a daily rinse. We recommend using a fluoride rinse, one that does not contain alcohol. Alcohol tends to dry out your tissues and can lead to discomfort. Um, also, if you suffer from dry mouth, you don't wanna dry it out even more with alcohol. Um, you can use it once daily or twice. Um, you can do morning and night. Swish for 30 seconds up to a minute. Make sure you get it right in between all of those teeth. Then after you spit it out, don't eat, drink, or rinse with any kind of water or anything for at least 30 minutes. So it's best to do it around bedtime so then it's the last thing you do before you go to bed. If you are prone to getting cavities, your dentist can write you a prescription or can provide you with a prescription rinse that you use weekly. It has pretty much the same instructions. Don't eat, drink, or rinse with water for about 30 minutes afterward. If you have any more questions, you can visit the American Dental Association website and they will have more information on brushing and flossing. If you would like to check out our website, you can go to keneildental.com. If you would like to call about setting up a dental appointment, our number is 904-731-2162. Thank you so much.